Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are all well. If you're new to the channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and on my channel I do sewing lookbook projects, let me see, sewing techniques, I'm starting to do um, outfits of the week and also sew and tell. I do have lots of sewing technique video tutorials on my channel so do go into that search box and search for whatever it is and hopefully you will find what you're looking for. And if you like what you see in this video tutorial, consider subscribing and let's get started. Today's outfit, let's just talk about my hair for a moment. Um, my hair, I straightened my hair, I, blew, I washed my hair yesterday and I blow dried it. And, um, and the reason for that, because I'm, I'm not into having my hair straight as much anymore. And um, the reason for the reason I got it straight today is that I had, I want you to trim my hair, yeah, a trim. And my husband usually cuts, cuts my hair for me. But he actually cuts my hair. When he asks for a trim, you know, you, when you ask for a trim, isn't it a trim something like this where you just get the dead ends off your hair and it's just like millimeters? <laughs> when I look down on the floor, there's about two inches. And um, my husband is not a hairdresser or anything like that by any means. He's just not a hairdresser. Um, but my hair needed uh, some serious trimming in my case, but my husband thought it probably needs cutting. <laughs> I, I swear that I'm sure that he was a hairdresser in his past life. Really, I do. I really do believe that. Anyway, enough about my hair. What I'm wearing is um, this crochet top and a cami. Didn't make either of these. The pants I did though. Yeah, I've got to make sure. Something in there that I've made. So the pants, yes, I have made. So, um, I love crochet tops. I've had this a while, no, about 12 months, 18 months, and, and, and I'm really into crochet tops. I've got about, I've got about four or five. And you know, one of the reasons I really do love it, it reminds me of my childhood, because my mum used to do a lot of crochet knitting, and as she likes to say, dressmaking, um, fashion sewing, and, um, it's, it reminds me of that, and it reminds me a lot about my childhood, and, and the fact that I'm drawn to them now, it's like, that they are beautiful, they, you know, they are, so they hang differently from knitted, you know, jumpers and cardigans, um, but yeah, I will definitely, um, I pick this up from a charity shop when I go to a charity shop to look for my refashioning stuff, it's like, you know what? Every time I go to a charity shop, I'm definitely going to see if I can see any crochet tops. Yeah, definitely will. So I really do like that. The only thing with this one is that you see how it's gaping there. I, 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 it's not gaping because I've, um, it's too small on the bust. I don't think. No, I don't think it really is. I think it's 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 the design and um, the the fabric, the way it's knitted. So I'm gonna have to put an invisible snap there just to hold that in place. Cause I don't like the gaping. It's in with the top button as well, I'm gonna, yeah. So I, I just need to, but I have worn this once and I, I did promise myself that I was going to do it, but I didn't get around to it. And also the collar. The collar is gorgeous. Has a collar on it. Um, but it's the colour's got man, a mind of its own, so it dances around quite a bit. Um, let me just show you. So let's say you do something like that, and you can see that it moves. So I'm going to have to tack that down. And I told myself this the first time I worn it, um, that I'm going to do all these things. But now that I've confessed to you, the next time I do wear it, I will definitely make sure that you know this is kind of like tacked down and yeah, the invisible snap. It's on. You're holding me to this, I know you are. <laughs> so this is what it looks like over there. No sunglasses today, don't need any because I don't think the sun's coming out. Yeah, I think the UK, England sunshine. Not that we had it, I think we only had two days. But yeah, but now this is what I'm wearing. Now, the necklace. Um, I'm, I'm, that's the only jewelry that I'm wearing because I want to 
showstopper is definitely, in my opinion, of course, my pants because I made them, but um, it's this crochet top. So I'm not wearing any bangles or earrings, maybe because of my hair. I don't really need to put any in. I don't think you've seen them anyway. Um, but is this, this bothers me. Can you see the alignment of this? I actually want it here. I think if it was here, it will give a better alignment. But because I like this necklace a lot, I'm going to show you a trick that I do with a lot of my jewels when I want them to be of different lengths. Maybe you can find you of different lengths. So this is the clasp here. So it only allows you to go there. And if I try to put it, 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 it would it just wouldn't work. So what I do is I tie a knot, not too tight, to act as a stopper. About there, should be fine. Like that. And then I get the end of the clasp, put it there, and it acts as a stopper. No, not there, here, oops, you can see it just acts as a stopper there, so it won't go any further, so it will keep it quite short, so I'll just put that on now, to show you, and Monday outfit is getting a bit long, isn't it, this, <laughs> this, this section. I just wanted to show you, see? So it looks it looks a lot better being a little bit shorter. And I've only got this little tail here, which I'll just tuck into the back. Like so. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think it's at the right place. Just there. There we go. Now, back that I am, go, I've got two here. Um, I've kind of been two minds, which one to go for. I've chosen this one. And the reason I didn't go with this one is because it's, it's, it's an old bag, but it's been a long time and it's starting to show its age. But I do still like it, but it's the bottom of the bag is very soggy. <laughs> it's got a soggy bottom. <laughs> So um, yeah, and it's, it's 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 a bit too big for what I'm trying to achieve with this look. So even if the bottom wasn't saggy, it, it, it's it's not working, not for me. Even though the colours would more or less go with my shoes, and I've been in camera down shortly, and I've chosen to go with this one. I do like this. It's, it's, I love the tassel for that. <laughs> it's so cute. And I want the handbag to be here. Can you see how it just makes the outfit just, it just finishes it off. And that's what you want, it just finishes it off. So yeah, I like the fact that it's just got this double buckle that's happening here. And it's, you know, making my arms stand away from, um, from my body. And yeah, so yeah, um, that's what I'm going for. And it feels comfortable. It looks right. So I'll bring the camera down now. So there we are. This is, I've teamed it with a belt. It's a animal print belt and it picks up the colour scheme that's in my pants. So it serves the necklace as well. Yeah. And I've gone for my half shoe so and the weather today is uh, it's been wet and it's been raining on and off yesterday Sunday and um, it was pouring down rain this morning so I was going to wear my brown strappy sandal shoe that I wore last week you know the one with the uh, ankle strap around here but I decided that if it's gonna rain at some point it will do then I'll just get my feet wet at the back. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm using the bag. Yeah, it really teams up nicely with what I'm wearing.
Hey, that's it. It is a jumpsuit, an all-in-one, asymmetrical, on one shoulder. The weather today is a little bit windy. The sun has made an appearance a couple of times. Mm, yeah. In the UK, what can I say? But I'm enjoying the weather. One mustn't know, so I'm not moving. Anyway, back to my outfit. So it is a one piece, more than one, and it is very thin. It's even though I'm kind of like full coverage and it's summer, um, and it's kind of like dark tones. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you're happy wearing what you're wearing, and if you're not a person of colour, like so I would call it, then you know always consider wearing fabrics that are lightweight or dark colours so that you stay cool. So um, the way I actually design this is, let me just show you, is that it is actually meant to be like this. That's how I designed it. So it's just a cowl neckline. But I'm very experimental when it comes to my clothing. So I knew that if I designed it this way, which was my intention, to design it this way, but my intention was to have it off one shoulder. And just because I like experimenting with pattern cutting, I just wanted to see how it looks and how it will fall on my body. And I totally love it. So could I've actually done this as a pattern off the shoulder? Absolutely. Absolutely I could have done that. But you know, you want something, well I know I like to experiment and I like to see how garments that are meant to be worn a certain way, how it would wear when it's not worn that way and how it would drape. And this is an example. So I just love this here and this sleeve. Oh, look at that reaching. That is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I also love the way this sleeve is. As you know, I love asymmetrical garments. And this kind of is the shoulder line here isn't falling the way it should do, it's slightly falling towards the back. So, and that's because I'm not wearing it the way it's supposed to be. But that is just as gorgeous, because you know why? It feels comfortable. The trick is, if it feels comfortable, then go with it. If, you, if you're a type of person who likes to experiment with uh, pattern drafting. So as I said, it's all one piece. It's elasticated at the waistline, and I've got a tie belt, and also a narrow belt. So the narrow belt kind of picks up colours that are in my sunglasses. Definitely wearing sunglasses today. That are in my sunglasses. And I've kind of twined the belt within the tie belt. So the tie belt is really long, so it's gone around me twice. So yeah, no pockets. It didn't, the fabric couldn't take pockets even if I wanted pockets. Um, and because it's, because it's that thin, um, this is the back. So yeah, so I'm happy with the look. So I'll just show you the bottom part. So here we are. These are the shoes. I'm wearing it. Wearing with them with this outfit today. I've worn these last week. I do like these shoes. I just love the, the fact that they've got a lot of um, texture to it and they're kind of like very strappy and it just falls in place with my bag. My bag is the Wicker Black Bag, which I'm sure you will remember from last week. It really ties in well with that. I was, I was contemplating whether or not to actually have it elasticated at the bottom, but no, I haven't done that. Oh, the, let me talk a little bit. I hope I'm not going on too much. <laughs> you know, let me know in the comments if, you know, if, if I'm doing a lot of too much talking and you just want to see the out of it, then I won't do as much talking. But I've actually lowered the crutch. If you go back and see it, oh, um, the crutch is it's lowered and that's intentional as well. And that has to do with the fabric and because it's, it's thin, it's lightweight. So a crutch level is here and the crutch of the pants is here. 
So, and that is just for easy movement. And as I said, it's the, it's the waist fabric. These are things you need to consider when you are actually drafting um, garments and thinking about the fabrics that you're working with. So, shoulder. I'm gonna show you the glasses there. These cute glasses. I have actually filmed this before. I've filmed it before, taking photographs of it before. So it's, it's a couple of it's a couple of years old, this. So yeah, these are the glasses that I'm wearing with it. We just swander over. Love these glasses. They're a little bit on the smaller side, but that's intentional as well. I do have a very round face, but um, yes, that's fine. And the frames also picked up in my belt. So yeah. I'll talk to you a minute about my hair as well. Oh, and okay. um, this is the bag. And it's got a long strap. And I will not be putting it over that shoulder. The sun has just made an appearance. So yeah. So when the sun's out, I'll make sure the sun <laughs> it's not that cold, but um yeah. So that's how I'll be wearing it. So it's a long strap, and the reason why I've gone for a longer look is that I want this detail to stand out. Even though it's kind of very monotone in my look, I'm popping it with this, giving it some colour. There we go. The lipstick just makes just makes the outfit pop. And may seem a bit strange saying that because it's on my face, the colour, because I could have gone with the colour in my belt, but I, I wanted to pick up the frames pattern within the belt. So, and I give myself a bit of colour because it's summer and it just makes the outfit just pop just a little bit more. So yeah, and, and the bag's all the way down here. Stay away from the attention that's happening here. So my hair, quickly, I'll just <laughs> see my hair. Um, right, I'm just gonna bring the camera up a bit. Right, my hair. Now I haven't actually, I probably have experimented with this hairstyle many years ago, but I haven't worn my hair like this for ages. I wear my hair like this when I'm going to bed and I want my hair to be kind of like in twists. We call this a Chinese bunt. <laughs> the mum used to do this to, you know, to me and my sisters when we were younger. And um, I would have pulled this out because I slept with my hair like this. It's, you know, it's intentional to, to do it this way. But when I was, comb my hair in order to get dressed and that. This looks cute. So what I did was I put some pins in to keep it in place and I just think it just finishes off the look. And because I didn't really, I wasn't intending to have my hair like this, I only did it one at the back. <laughs> I suppose it looked like a pig's tail sort of thing. So I'm definitely gonna wear this hairstyle again, but I'll, I'll make sure I do a lot more sections in the back. What, what do you think? Do you think, it, do you think it's okay? Oh. <laughs> Just let me know in the comments about what you think of my, my hair style. I think it's quite cute. I'll definitely wear this again. Yeah, absolutely. So that's it. And that's my outfit for today. Outfit of today. So I'm wearing extra long pants all the way down to the floor. Kind of got trainers on, grey trainers, and a pink, grey pink goes well together, and a tie. So it's off the shoulders. So I do have a video tutorial on how to make this top, so I'll put that in the description. I'll show you the back. And I'm going to put my hand here. I've got no pockets, look. <laughs> I've got no pockets. I wish I had pockets in this, because I think it looks, you know, you know, if you have pockets, it'll look like, yeah, I'm boss, sort of thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but that is my outfit for today. I'll give you one more twirl. Oh yeah, um, I have got a bag for this. It's this one. My silver bag I've been sporting a few times, but I've shortened the handle. I kind of like did my own thing, so, um, it didn't really allow me to shorten it this length. But yeah, I'll still be able to access my 
fur and stuff in my bag. So that is how I'm going to be sporting the look today. So I just can put it. I've decided that I'm going to be wearing it like this. So I've got it short and long at the back. I like it the other way, I have pockets in my pants, but I think because I don't have any pockets, I wanted it to have this kind of look and I'm happy with it like this. Even though I think even if I had pockets, it would still be just as cute. What can I say? So yeah, this is the look I'm going to be sporting. So it's half tuck, first is half tuck, isn't it? Tuck at the front, not at the back. Today's outfit is this dress, the jeans dress. I don't wear a lot of floral garments, but I do particularly like this because uh, it's navy blue and white. And it's kind of one of my favourite colour schemes for spring, summer. And it's got long sleeves, as you know, I love my long sleeves, and slightly rouge and got a round neckline and it's just a simple sheet dress that's straight down. I'm wearing it with my on shoes. I just want to give a kind of casual look for this outfit so if the sun's out so hopefully it's going to stay out all day and um, I'm wearing it with minimal amount of jewellery so I've only got silver earrings in and my silver bubble bracelet and I'm going to wear it with sunglasses, no me and my sunglasses. So I've got these silver frames and it's got a blue lens. So I'm going to be sporting it like that. I was thinking about wearing white glasses, but no. I decided not to go with that and I'm going to wear my fun bag. <laughs> so um, that's how it's going to look. But I'm going to keep the chain out, but I'm going to fold it like so. So it adds another tiny detail of dimension and making sure that it's quite safe as well, that I don't catch on anything. So that is going to be my look for today. Today's outfit, a little bit more of a relaxed outfit. I would say jeans and t-shirt. Well, not t-shirt, shirt. This is a refashioned uh, mad shirt. The shade fell sleeves. And I have done a video tutorial for this, so I'll put it in the description. So I've crossed it over and tucked it into my jeans, so it creates this kind of gathered effect that's happening. So, this is fun. Um, the jeans, I've got all these ripped jeans, just little amounts of rips that are in these jeans. I'm going to put belt. And yeah, there's nothing really much happening with this outfit other than the fact that, you know, the shirt helps kind of... The thing is, it's choosing the right shirt to go with the right jeans and these are the right jeans to wear with this type of shirt. I've got quite a few jeans in my, in my wardrobe and I do have um, a, a play on what I'll wear with them. So would I wear this shirt with a pair of jeans? Possibly, but I know I'll definitely go with these ones first. So yeah. And teaming it with sunglasses. These are the ones that I wore really yesterday. I think I wore these yesterday. They price really well with what I'm wearing. I do have another pair of blue sunglasses. And I've chosen these ones, these have got blue there, so I tend to go for glasses, sunglasses that have the covers, the frame, whatever colour I'm wearing. And I've got these like blue ones, I'm sure I've worn them maybe in my last video. Um, but these are the right ones to wear with this one. I'm also wearing a ring as well. So that's the only jewellery that I have on. So I've got no earrings on and it's all braces. So I just thought just to give it a slight pop and I'll just put a ring on. 
and I'm wearing the same shoes I wore yesterday. So I've got my slip on here. So I've been kind of down at the moment and the trusty old silver bag. <laughs> and this bag is, yeah, I think will be the bag that I go for most of this spring summer. Um, yeah, so this is the bag I'm exporting today. Yesterday it was nice and oh, it was a gorgeous day, but there was heavy rainfall about uh, three or four times during that day, and then some come out, heavy rainfall, some come out. So I had a plan to wear this dress, which is nice and flowy and gorgeous, and really long down to the floor, covering my shoes just about. You know, I just wanted to make sure I get some of my summer dresses in my um, outfits of the day for autumn comes. So this is what I was planning to wear for today and I am going to be wearing it today. But the accessories were going to be different. So if the sun was going to be out today, I would be sporting. <laughs> accessories. Those are the accessories and the sport sporting with this outfit. One on each arm. Then I would have my crochet bag. I'm going to put a knot in it, just at the top of the handle. Like so, just because I can. <laughs> and that would have been my look for today. Oh. Yeah, the shoes as well. The shoes would be in the being wearing these shoes. You see me spot these already today. And because it's raining, well, they're not really. But saying, <laughs> saying that, you can see the shoes that I've got on now. Um, yeah, and a cardigan. It's warm, it is actually quite warm, but um, I've got a chocolate small need to cardigan. So it's going to be a case of, if the sun was out, this is how I would sport it, like this. Cardigan in hand, or maybe you know, over my bag. And the reason for the cardigan, because it usually gets a bit chilly during the night time, as it gets towards the evening. And then I would put my cardigan over my shoulders, I'm wearing that shawl. But as the day gets it's a bit chilly, I'm still keeping it locked in my bag and to have my bag on my shoulders like that. Oh, it's raining. So I've changed my accessories. So, oh, yes and I would be sporting my sunglasses with this look. So I'll step back so you can get a total look. So I'd be sporting these sunglasses, this bag, and my cardigan drawing, you know, as later on in the day as it gets a bit cooler. That's my plan. So this morning, I woke up pouring down with rain and has only just stopped. So, and it's, well, it's wet and damp, isn't it? So you want to feel a bit more comfortable. So I'm keeping the same jewelry on. I've got money on one arm. 
I've got more bangles, <laughs> like so. And I'm going to put my cardigan on and pull up the sleeves. Just a little bit of ruching going on. And I'm back. And I'll pull the sleeves up. So the cardigan will stay on all day, like so. enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and do share and if you are new to the channel then I hope you would consider subscribing I'm going to be doing a lot more of outfits of the week where I do on um, a day I do on a daily basis and then I upload on a Saturday Sundays I'm having a day off <laughs> it's PJ day <laughs> um, so yeah so um, do consider subscribing and do share and like this video and I will see you in the next outfit of the week. Yeah, looking forward to that one. But autumn is coming though. Autumn is coming and I want to make sure I fit in a lot more of my summer summer wardrobe. And I will be wearing it a little bit, even if the weather is saying, Colleen, I don't think so. 